Yo, what's good? Today I'm gonna share and talk through my current shoe rotation, what I'm wearing on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a little bit of a mixed bag, um, and I'm gonna go through what I wear least often to the end to what I wear most often. Um, there's gonna be a few little extras tossed in there, gym, I mean, gym shoes, house shoes, whatever. Those are technically things that I wear, but we're gonna go through, we're gonna talk the normal shoes, casual shoes, all that stuff, and uh, yeah, let's dive into it. All right, so first pair that I would say is least worn is these Rude, uh, I don't know what they're called, Racer V1s, whatever. Sort of Rude's version of what a Vans low top shoe is. I think is there a little bit of a rip. They got the logo on the back, you can see. These are cool. I bought them actually on the, the Rude Bowl sale that they have. I don't remember what I paid, maybe like 190, but honestly, I don't get that much wear out of them. I, I, I thought they were a lot cooler and I thought I would get more wear out of them, but just not the type of sneaker that I wear often. The tongue has this kind of, it's like extended. It's an interesting detail, but I really just don't wear them as much as I would like to. So these are rude racers, cool shoe overall, nice detailing, but um, yeah, let's go on to the next shoe. Is any man's wardrobe complete without a pair of wallabies? I mean, these, if I could redo this, I would get a different color. Black isn't, I don't think the best color for a pair of wallabies and also high tops. I would go with the mids or the lows. But yeah, I mean, I wear these shoes. I actually just wore these the other day. I can wear them nice with like black khakis. They're kind of a chill vibe. You either love them or you hate them, really. I mean, let's be honest. Some days I love them, some days I think they're nice, and, and some days they're just the shoe that I wanna wear if I don't wanna wear any of the other ones that I'm gonna show you further down the line that I'll wear more often if I wanna switch it up a little bit and it's a little bit of a casual vibe, right? So Clark's Wallabies, high tops, black pair, nice pair of kicks. Let's go to the next. All right, boom, another pair of Clarks. These are the Chucka Boots in brown leather. Um, I used to wear these things every day. Nowadays, I wear them a little less often though, um, but these are a nice shoe, classic. Classic silhouette, brown leather, durable. I wear them more casual nowadays. I don't really wear them to work or anything like that when I'm trying to dress up a little bit more um, just because they're not, Chucka boots can be more formal and structured, but not this pair. This pair is, doesn't have as much structure in it. It's sort of more loose. It's not as rigid. The materials don't feel as elegant as maybe like a suede or something like that. So I usually just wear them with a pair of jeans or khakis, more classic vibe, but I love these shoes. I'll toss these on if I got a, a earth tone outfit, a brown outfit going and um, rock them. And the leather, like I said, very durable. I clean these with um, mink oil often and, and keep them hydrated. And uh, yeah, great shoe. Let's go to the next. All right, so this is kind of like an honorable mention, but these are basically my gym shoes, Reebok uh, classics, maybe they're called. I don't really know. I wear these to the gym. So honestly, this is probably one of my most wearing pair of shoes because I go to the gym four or five days a week and I wear these. Um, Yeah, they're a little beat. Uh, I've had these for about two years now and they're a little beat. I mean, I wear them, like I said, very often because I'm going to the gym often. And even if I'm going to play like tennis or something like that, I never play tennis, who am I lying to? Um, pickleball, something like that. If I'm going out or if I'm going on a hike, then I'll wear these. And uh, yeah, classic shoe, nice white shoe. When I was in Europe as well, I wore these a lot. Felt very European, a pair of khakis and a pair of white shoes and whatever up top. So yeah, that's the Reeboks, great shoes. Let's go to the next Bob. All right, house shoes, um, Birkenstock Boston's black pair. I've had these for years now, three or four years, and they're my house shoes. Like I said, I don't really wear these outside of the house unless I'm going to the grocery store or something, but they're beat. They got a nice heel bite, the soles. Eventually, I'll probably love to get these resold um, and also get the cork worked on. Um, the footbed, it's getting torn up in the back, but yeah, I mean, these are my shoes that I literally wear probably every time I record a video, every time I'm just chilling in the house. If I'm just going out to grab something from the grocery store, or the gas station or going to pick up some food or something. These are what I'm wearing. So Birkenstock, Boston, clogs, black shoes, can't go. I don't put them right back on my feet. I just literally just grab them off my feet. I don't put them right back on. So all right, we're flying through these. We're moving through these. Um, these are my all terrain tires. I did an out of the box on these, but these are the Blundstone black Chelsea boots. Like I said, all terrain tires. These are what I'm wearing. If it's raining, snowing, anything crazy like that. We're, we just got through the Chicago winter. Um, some days were pretty rough. And even when it rains, I'll toss these on. And I've worn these with everything. I mean, they don't, they, they do look work boot-ish. Um, they got kind of like a rounded toe. They don't really have a point. The shape is kind of bigger, but the materials are great. They're durable. And if it's raining or snowing, I don't want to wear any of my nice shoes, which are coming up that I wear to work most often. So I'll toss these on with some suit pants or, or trousers, whatever it may be, khakis. And I'll wear these and I'll also wear these if I'm like working on my car or like, you know, doing something like that where I know it's going to get muddy or whatever, or if I'm going on a 
a, a muddier hike, I would wear these. These are my all-terrain tires. Um, I haven't had these for that long. I just got them for the last Chicago winter, so I've had them for probably about five, six months, maybe. Um, and yeah, so far so good. Looking forward to getting more wear out of them and doing a full video on these at some point in the future. So let's go on to the next one. Real quick, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you know what I'm saying? All right, this is where we get into the fun ones. Now, if you literally seen my last, not my last video, um, but yeah, it was my last video, was it? I don't know, Meerman. Um, these are the suede loafers that I got from Meerman. I, I mean, I love these shoes. These shoes are so clean, classic. I wear, you can wear these with a suit. You can wear these with khakis. You can wear these with jeans. You can, I'm literally wearing like track pants right now on the bottom, business up top. You know, track pants on the bottom, but I'll, I would throw these on with these. I mean, these just go with anything and everything. I'm not a big shorts person, but you could probably wear them with shorts, depending on the sock choice. But yeah, these are clean. Nice pair of brown loafers. I got these last year when the weather's nice um, because they felt more like a spring summer because you don't really want to wear suede when it's raining, when it's snowy. The suede is just going to get completely messed up. Um, unless you put some type of water repellent, but I don't even take chances, right? So I'll never wear these in the winter, really. Once the weather gets a little bit nicer, I'm pretty much gonna be wearing these every day. You saw these make an appearance, like I said, in the last brand spotlight, as well as the five looks that I put out, whatever, a week ago, a couple weeks ago. Um, these made an appearance a couple times and they're gonna be a staple coming up in the next few months. So let's move on to the next one. All right, second to last pair of kicks. I, you saw these as well if you watched the Mirror Men video, but these are Mirror Men uh, Monk Strap buckle shoes uh i actually just got some shoe trees for these feeling fancy little little vintage shoe tree vibe um so trying to keep the shape in these these are my nice professional shoes these are the shoes that i wear when i'm putting a suit on when i'm dressing up a little bit more um, when i'm going to work i don't really wear these outside of work ever unless i'd be going to like a wedding or something like that or a very nice event but these are nice shoes man. i love monk straps i think they I, when I was getting into more professional wear, I wanted a nice, clean pair of shoes, but I didn't want to go with the standard Oxfords or the standard three lace, five lace shoes or whatever it may be. I wanted something with a little bit more character and these just fit perfect. And they got hits of silver. I'm a silver person, silver jewelry. So black, just nice and simple, nice and clean. And yeah, these are my second to most worn pair of shoes. When I first bought these, they were kind of rough to break in. I'll keep it a buck, but finally they've broken in and I can wear these and feel no discomfort for a whole day. They've broken in very nicely and um, kept their shape, kept their color. I just started using the shoe trees, so I'm glad about that. I got a little bit of wrinklage going on, but I like a little bit of wear in shoes like that. These are a pair that I'd want it to keep a little bit more pristine overall because they are like a professional wear pair of shoes. Second most worn Worn pair. Now we're gonna get into the most worn pair of shoes that I wear most often. You've also seen these. I mean, you've seen these as well. All right, I have had a pair of these in my wardrobe ever since high school, ever since I started getting into clothing and fashion and style and things of that nature, because these are the most, the most practical, the most well-rounded. I can't think of the word. You can wear them with anything. An amazing pair of footwear right? I'm talking Chelsea boot. These are the Thursday Cavalier Chelsea boots. I've had these resold. I made a whole video about these, um, which I will link in the description below, but these have been a great boot. I've had them for maybe a couple years now. And like I said, I like that look of shoes being worn in. So these ones, they look worn in, right? From wearing them, I wear them very often. I've worn these through winters. Um, the, the soles got real toe up from the last winter and I had some sole protectors put on them now which have been treating me very well but these I mean I wear these with jeans I'll wear these with these pants that I have on sweatpants I'll with the right pair of sweatpants of course I'll wear these with a suit I love these with the suit it's just suit pants and a sh and like a button-down shirt and a tie whatever I mean these are so versatile that's the word I was looking for versatile these are so versatile if you don't have a pair of Chelsea boots I mean I think that you should probably have a pair I have two pairs I have the blonde stones which are my all-weather tires and then I have these bad boys which can somewhat be considered all-weather tires as well I mean the leather on these is very supple soft leather it's a little more tough on that one, um, on the Blundstones. I mean, these go with everything. They don't have the polars, so they look nice and clean, like a professional pair of shoes. Yeah, I mean, that, these are 10 out of 10 in my book. If you can only have one pair of shoes out of all everything that I've laid out here, then it's definitely these. This will go with anything and everything. The only place you probably can't wear these is the gym. You, 
I couldn't even imagine, bro. I could not even imagine. So yeah, that's the video. Nine pairs of shoes that I wear most often. I do have a couple other pairs that are just sitting around like some beat up old Vans and some Adidas running shoes, but I don't really wear those that often. So I wanted to keep this mostly in the ones that I'm at least wearing somewhat and just talk through those, talk through the situations that I wear them the most in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. What's your favorite pair? Do you also have a pair of any of these shoes? What are you wearing the most often? I would love to know that um, and build a relationship with you. So let's do that. That's all I got for y'all for now. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.